uh, service provider or the government uh, or the organizations they can also negotiate on the same level right how much inflation is here so and how we are going to set the wage rate for the employees as well right so in short a consumer price index is the goods that we take uh, there are several goods we take their previous prices and the current prices and then we can assign the weight to it and we find the per changes and based on that change then we can find the percentage as well right okay now the question is why there is inflation what are the factors which causes inflation why there's an there is inflation in an economy right so there are various factors one is called as um, demand pull factors cost push, uh, cost push factors import cost factors expectations excessive growth in the money supply and there are various others as well right so here a few common factors are mentioned now the first one is demand pull factors now as the name clarifies right what demand pull mean anything uh, any rise in the price which is caused by the excessive demand now why demand increases maybe there is more people are getting more income right um, there there is more job opportunities or there are more incomes to the people overall so when there is more money the people do have so as per keynesian law their income increases your expenditure increases means now you are going to spend more money right so when the overall demand increases so the prices will rise now take a simple example right for example previously the demand for the sugar in a country was let's suppose um, 50 million tons right now uh, people might be using more sugar because of any reason let's suppose right so but the production is the same so what will happen the companies will sell it at a higher price so in other words it is inflation resulting from the persistent excess of aggregate demand over aggregate supply so in short when aggregate demand increases right when aggregate demand increases is aggregate demand exceed the aggregate supply right so what will happen the prices will rise true same same is the case on the other hand sorry the second factor is cost push inflation sometimes it happens that the demand remains the same but the cost of factor of production rises regardless of the uh, supply right now what happened the supply aggregate supply is the same aggregate demand is the same but cost of production increase because of any reason for example simple uh, example i'll give you let's suppose we are importing oil right so if import uh, oil prices rises in international market so anything that we produce uh, they, we consume the fuel in it right the factories consume fuel and now the cost of production has arisen so ultimately we cannot sell the goods at the same price now now oil prices have been increased for all the firms in the country now their overall cost of production has increased so this increase will lead to increase in the prices of the goods and the services the companies are producing so similarly if the overall wage rate rises in a country so again the cost of production for the companies rises hence they whatever they are producing they will have to sell it at a higher price so now this increase in the price is basically caused by the cost of production so this uh, push in the price i would say this upward push in the price was because of the increase in the cost of production so ultimately this will also lead to inflation another factor is import uh, cost inflations those uh, it happens in those countries where the imports are very high right so when when we are importing uh, so many things from the international uh, world and if there is inflation in the other country ultimately it will affect us as well so um, whenever you are importing anything and you are you can say uh, a machinery or technology or any other things so in the previously you could pay less but now you have to pay more so when you have to pay more being a uh, producer so ultimately you'll have to sell it at a higher price as well now this increase in the overall prices in the, in the of the various product in the country l uh, led to inflation and such inflation is called as uh, import cost push inflation because this is because of the import 
another problem uh, you can say or another reason for inflation is the expectations now how expectation affect the inflation the further problem is that the rate of inflation has begun to increase a serious danger of expectational inflation also occur how whether the factor have caused inflation are still persistent or not there will be a rise in the gradual held view of what inflation is like to be means what happens so to protect the future income you see how it works it's simple like let's suppose there is inflation in an economy right no i am perceiving being a producer or being a consumer i perceive that the the, the prices will further rise in the future so what i'm going to do i am purchasing more right now so this will increase the aggregate demand and again we have studied earlier as we studied earlier that uh, 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 this push in the aggregate demand will be further increasing the price no nothing happened there was no increase in the aggregate demand but just based on my expectations because i expected that the uh, because of the happening all around or the because of the current scenario what be, uh, i feel as an individual so as a consumer or as a producer that this is going to uh, le lead a insp uh, inflation spiral so i will be trying to increase my um, uh, consumption on the other hand the producer will try to save their uh, incomes right they'll protect their future incomes wages and the prices will be raised now by the expected amount of the future inflation right so this is how it works like now it's five percent inflation and if i give the loan to another person so i will not give it at a five percent because i know in future it will be eight percent so i'll be giving him a loan at a ten percent right so everybody is trying to protect his income or his uh, you can say uh, expenditure uh, income by spending more or by saving more right so this all will lead to higher and increase in the prices another reason which is most common is uh, another common reason is money supply when there is excess money supply it also leads to inflation monitor says that uh, inflation is also controlled by the supply of money right is the central bank are supposed to control the money supply so money supply controlling means that they are uh, supplying the money in the economy as per the demand if the demand is 100 billion um, you can say pound or dollar whatever and we have supplied uh, more than that we means the central bank have supplied more than it so now people have excess money and this excess money uh, means this uh, there's no production against it so ultimately more money will chase few goods so it can be brought under control by reducing the growth the rate of growth of the money supply so these are some of the common major reasons for the inflation now the next variable which is uh, which is very um, we can say i would not say variable it's in fact a problem economic problem that is called as unemployment now what is unemployment unemployment in an economy can be uh, un what is unemployment unemployment simply when the people are able and willing to find the job but they don't find the job simply it's it's a simple definition right how can we calculate it the number of unemployed people divided by the total workforce or the labor force multiplied by 100 right now it, it does uh, unemployment is not calculated by dividing the total population because in population we have old age people and we have kids so usually in different countries it is different uh, less than 15 uh, years or 16 years are people of the people are not uh, taken as the workforce right and above 60s in some countries they are also not included in the workforce and those people who are willingly not going to work they are also excluded in the workforce right so they are not uh, contributing in the economy so let's suppose if the economy has the population of uh, 100 million and out of 100 million there are uh, 20 millions are kids and 20 million are or let's suppose 10 million are old age people so means the here uh, they they have the 70 million in net total workforce right and the the more the portion of the workforce is the better it is uh, for the economy uh, to grow and contribute anyway uh, how we can calculate it so out of that 70 million then we'll find that how many people are unemployed let's suppose unemployed are 10 million so 10 divided by 7 million uh, 70 million into 100 will give us the answer of the unemployment rate right now when there is unemployment what happens uh, in the economy it's very obvious and simple that you see the consequences of unemployment are very uh, drastic and you can say i would say dramatic 
uh, one is the loss of output means all those people who are unemployed so they are not contributing in the economy so it does it means